Hello class, welcome to pre-algebra lesson 7-6. Today we are going to learn how to write and solve one-step addition and subtraction inequalities. Okay, so let's quickly review what an inequality is. An inequality is any um, expression that's, that uses our less than, greater than, oops, um, or are less than or equal to, greater than or equal to symbols. So make sure that if you don't remember these symbols, make sure that you take some time and re-memorize how to read each of these out loud. Okay, And then uh, just a quick reminder that it always points at the smallest number. Okay, So it always points at the smallest number. Okay, so if we are practicing how to graph inequalities, and we have a is less than 4. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an open circle at 4. And then anything that's less than 4, that would be like 3, 2, 1. So I would draw my arrow going this way. And then the second one, I have b is greater than 6. So I'm going to do an open circle. And then anything that's bigger than 6, that would be like 7, 8, 9, 10. So I know I'm going to shade this way. Okay. Then if we have something where it's like C is less than or equal to, you do what's called a closed circle or a filled in circle. Okay. So notice on the last one, we did open circles where we didn't color it in. And now that we have the or equal to, we do a filled in circle. So C is less than or equal to negative 2. So which number is less than negative 2? That'd be like negative 3, negative 4. So I'm going to draw my arrow pointing that direction. Our next one is D is greater than or equal to negative 8. So since it's the or equal to, I do a filled in circle at my negative 8. And then D is greater than, so that would be... My number is like 7, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5. So I would draw my arrow going that way. So hopefully that is uh, familiar to you. If not, please be sure to ask for some help. I'm happy to help you. But let's move on to like the main part of today's lesson. So we're going to practice solving inequalities. So it works just like solving equations. Um, as far as like the solving portion, then you just end up graphing your answer. So I still do that same thing where um, I called it tee it up. You draw the line under the equal sign. Well, in this case, you're going to draw the line under the inequality symbol. And then you still want to get your variable all by itself. So right now I have a positive 4. So I would get x by itself by subtracting 4. So I have x is less than... 7 minus 4 is 3. So I would do an open circle at 3 because it's just less than. It's not less than or equal to. And then my numbers that are less than 3 are going this way on my number line. Okay, let's try another one. I have 10 is greater than or equal to 2 plus y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2, subtract 2. I have 8 is greater than or equal to y. So I'm going to do a filled in circle at 8. And then 8 is greater than y. So what numbers is 8 greater than? 8 is greater than or bigger than like 7, 6, 5. So I know I go to the left. All right. Hopefully that doesn't seem too bad. Now let's practice um, solving just using subtraction this time, or solving inequalities that involve subtraction. So here I have negative 8 plus x is less than or equal to negative 4. So to get x by itself, I'm going to say plus 8 plus 8. x is less than or equal to 4. So I'm going to do a filled in circle at 4. And then what numbers are less than 4? That would be like 3, 2, 1, 0. So I point this direction. And then over here, or down here, again, I want y all by itself. So instead of subtracting 5, I'm going to add 5. Add 5. 1 plus 5 is 6 is greater than or equal to y. So I do a filled in circle at 6. 6 is greater than y. 
So 6 is greater than which numbers? 6 is greater than 5, 4, 3, so I point that direction. And then I am all done. Okay, so if you have any questions about these problems, please be sure to reach out for some help. I am happy to help you. I hope you have a great day.